building tunnels like this mm -hmm. had been a challenge for me initially. And what I struggled with was getting them to stay upright all through the season. If you're like me and you want to build this thing on the cheap, that would last you all through the season and be solid, yes, most importantly through the wind and the storms, then I think this video might be helpful to you. So we had to build a new tunnel. This is the old one. We moved this from time to time. This is something we've always done because we want to crop rotate. Simply because if you leave your crops in the same spot, you can have pests and diseases build up in the soil, especially if it's monocropping. So like growing only green vegetables. The tunnel and the netting is mainly for our winter veg. So like cauliflower, broccoli, and purple sprouting broccoli and Brussels sprouts because they grow fairly tall, almost three feet tall, if not more. So we have to move this now and again. This is my old con bed. This bed, I had no compost on it. That's just by the way. And that's why you have the plastic because we didn't have enough compost. You can see the con stalks underneath. That was just a way to protect the bed and also preserve the integrity and also feed the soil. The stalks actually feed the soil. So the microbes and the worms have fed on most of the stalks. We have to clear the stalks that are left over. This is normal. It's um, sort of a Japanese way of protecting the soil. Now we also had an ant nest. This was not a very good view. We weren't able to see the amount of ants that had actually nested on this place. Unfortunately, I had to get rid of them. Rake the soil up a bit just to make sure the bed was a little bit clear before putting our net in. Now back to building a tunnel. This low tunnel is really easy and cheap to build. And most importantly, you can reuse the materials because that's one thing I had to find. Gardening can be expensive if you don't have the right resources and try and save money. The materials we're using here, this is our fourth season. So three years we've been using them. We haven't had to buy any more. Initial cost or investment could be, yes, the PVC pipes, those blue pipes. It could cost a bit of money and also the netting. We're using environment here, but it's a very good one. So I would recommend a strong netting. You could also use scaffolding netting. I have a tunnel that's just scaffolding netting and that has lasted as well. So whatever you find that works, but we want a biggish tunnel. So scaffolding netting alone doesn't work. We had to sew it up and that's a bit more labor intensive. Now we had this random, you know, metal rods around what my husband's putting out there. We pick them a lot in the plot. So if you had to buy these, but just bear in mind, it's better than using those breakable, bendable bamboo sticks or canes. We had used bamboo canes in the past. And yeah, we have just, we're just using manual ways, no whole post digger to ensure these things are firmly secured in the soil. We have to make sure this goes really deep. That is really important if you want your frame or your tunnel to stay stable all through the winter, okay? So we, he has to ensure, I can do this as well, but the soil is getting firmer, so it's a bit more work. You could either dig and put your pipes in or you just heat it down. Now, after doing that, we put in our PVC pipe in. Now, this is a really, really big tunnel, yes. So we want to ensure that in as much as the PVC piping is wide, it's also stable. So we have to put something to balance or to brace it in the middle. <laughs> Guys, I'm not DIY savvy. I'm just someone trying to grow vegetables and trying to ensure the systems I have in place work, especially if I'm organic gardening, because why are we having the netting anyway? Netting is to protect my plants from the cabbage white butterfly and also from some white fly. Although white fly is questionable because we end up having it every year, but maybe it reduces the impact. And finally, from pigeons and other animals that will eat all the greens. So this is why we cover these vegetables up with the netting. And then this structure can also help us with fleas in the early spring or late winter when we want to protect our plants from the frost. So that's one of the reasons we build this frame. So we're just measuring it out there. So when we've put all the pipes in place we just measure to ensure that this net can cover now this is the biggest environment we could buy in the open market i'm gonna put the dimensions on the screen if i remember but that's the biggest one we had so it's a bit wide 
you can buy really cheapish ones i've bought some cheapish ones before they're not honestly as strong as environment this is no ad <laughs> i have no affiliation with environment now you see we're checking it to see how stable it is and we found that it wasn't so secure even after bracing at the top so despite us having only three you know pipes we needed a brace in the middle and we believe that would keep this thing really secure like i said experience could be a best teacher in this area because we've had experiences that are not brilliant so my husband had to go ahead and in, put in a stake in the middle and he had to dig to ensure the stick was solid and stable whilst we went around pinning yeah the children also help us at the allotment so everyone is pinning these are the sort of things pins we use to secure the mesh we don't want to make big holes in the net and we also want to ensure that at least two or three sides are secure and we just open one area to go into weed or to wet that way we have a fairly safe netting structure that prevents you know pests and diseases from going in or not diseases anyway pests and also prevents us from fiddling with this netting that we've just ensured we secured does that make sense guys if you enjoyed this video if you're learning anything give us a thumbs up i had to watch lots of videos <laughs> yes it sounds so simple but just to ensure that we could do this one on the cheap and i i reiterate cheap is the important Factor. so getting scrap wood scrap metal is really handy you can get those metals from even skips so he's going ahead to dig a hole in the middle and securing a post underneath that piping to ensure that this thing is solid so when the wind comes the vegetables are safe and our netting is secure once you have that post in the middle and this is what we've not always had we've not always been able to brace the metals properly so we have you know now been able to do it and that's why i'm showing you last year we had a successful tunnel and this year and the year before it was the first year we struggled with the right structure now we've secured it and this is it okay i hope you've enjoyed this video like i said this is the end result do you like it give us a thumbs up has it added any value to you or has it not made any sense if you have any more tips on how to secure this leave me a comment in the comment section i highly appreciate it and guys thank you for always coming back to watch my videos i appreciate it until next time i will see you in another video can you see that steak in the middle there that is one of the biggest secrets to secure this whole structure so thank you once again and bye